So Lord of the Flies takes place in World War II, uh, around the 1940s there, and there's a whole bunch of people killing each other with guns, new guns, and helmets. And uh, it's really bloody, and uh, all the countries are at war. Dun dun dun! And so, hey, there's a big ass plane and it's taking a bunch of kids to somewhere and it's full of prep kids. But the plane crashes, oh no, into an island, oh no, and it's deserted in the middle of nowhere. What are they going to do? And it's full of kids. So miraculously, there's a bunch of kids that survive, yay! And one of the kids is called Ralph, and Ralph is kind of a leader, and he's really strong, and he's got big ideas. But then there's Jack, and Jack is another leader, he's the leader of the choir, and he's crazy! And then there's Piggy, and he always wears glasses. Super smart, Piggy! Well, that looks like Riggy. But wait, there's more! Here's Simon, and he's kind of weird and an outsider. And then you have the two twins, Sam and Eric, and they're called Sam and Eric because they're always together and they love each other, but not in the gay way. And then there's Roger, and he's kind of small, and there's Sam and Eric again. And then there are the little ones that are kind of inconspicuous little children that just run around everywhere. So they make a base on the beach because they decide that's where all the water is and that's where all the sand is. So that's a good place to put a beach and that's where they landed. And there's the mountain. Let's make a fire on the mountain so that if anybody passes by, we'll be able to say, hey, we're on the mountain. Oh, but wait, there's a beast and everybody's scared of it because it kind of looks like vines and oh, he's gonna get us. Everybody's afraid. Oh, but wait, there's problems. Jack has gone crazy with his spears. He's making so many of them and he's giving them to everybody. Oh, he's becoming coming tribal and all the little ones are getting together and they're doing their funky disco dances every night and it's crazy around the fire Shh. Simon who's adventurous has gone out into the forest and he's like what what is that on the tree and it's a guy it's a parachuter that's the beast and so Simon is so whacked out by his experience he decides to go for a walk and hey he looks really happy and what has he found here oh my goodness it's a pig's head on a stick and that's the Lord of the Flies because it's full of flies and it starts talking to him and Simon and wanders back into the camp and he's really smelly so everybody's freaked out and they're like oh my gosh it's the beast so jack says hey let's do our dance and he kills him and he's bleeding and he's gonna die and all the little ones are like yeah we killed the beast but no nope, they just killed simon sad boy he's dead he's dead and also it's raining so Jack finds a big rock on the other side of the island and he calls it Castle Rock and that's going to be his castle. It's a place that he's going to stay. So he stands on top of the castle with his stick and he's like, yeah, I'm the chief now, fool. And Ralph and Piggy are away from it and Piggy goes, hey, give me my glasses back because he stole his glasses to make some big flames. And so Jack's basically like, yeah, come get them, fool. They throw a big rock at Piggy and he dies. So Ralph is running away because he's like, oh my gosh, they're going to kill me. And Jack's chasing him with his big sticks through the forest and he's like, yeah, I'm going to kill you with my trap. And then they set the entire island on fire because it's craziness. So Jack and his tribe do like a marathon all the way through the island. And they run all the way to the corner of the island. And Ralph is stuck because there's only water there. And there's Piggy. But uh, he's actually dead, so we'll raise him. Yep, he's D-E-D -E -D dead. And what they find is this man with a pointy hat. And oh my gosh, it's a sailor. They're rescued. Yay. But not everything's great. Jack's V sad. And everybody's crying because they killed a bunch of people. And the sailor's like, what? And I actually thought I would take you through what I think Lord of the Flies is about in case you have to use this for school or something, or if you're doing it for uni, I don't know. Anyway, uh, one of my favorite authors is Lovecraft, and one of Lovecraft's famous quotes was this, he was a horror writer in the 1920s. He says, the oldest and strongest emotion of mankind is fear, and the oldest and uh, strongest kind of fear is fear of the unknown. And that seems to be uh, kind of the capturing point of Lord of the flies because the whole idea about the beast being on the island was that they didn't know if there was a beast on the island it was the constant paranoia of something that might be there that eventually turns their reason against them and they get overwhelmed with all kinds of emotions so what is lord of the flies about out of the entire book there is one quote that really sticks out to me and it's found at the end so you have to imagine the island is burning up uh, so he says, the island is scorched up like dead wood. Simon is dead, and Jack had, the tears began to flow and sobs shook him. He gave himself up to them for the first time on the island. Great, shuddering spasms of grief that seemed to wrench his whole body. His voice rose under the black smoke before the burning wreckage of the island, and infected by that emotion, the other little boys began to shake and sob too. In the middle of them, with filth body, matted hair, and unwiped nose, 
Ralph wept for the end of innocence, the darkness of a man's heart, and the fall through the air of the true wise friend called Piggy. The officer, surrounded by these noises, was moved and a little embarrassed, and he turned away, allowing his eyes to rest on the trim cruiser in the distance. So Lord of the Flies is basically about these boys on an island, and they undergo a change. And the change is turning from what is meant to be the apex of civilization, uh, the apex, the ultimate uh, students of reason. They're meant to be really sophisticated, these boys, and they turn from that to these uh, dirty, grubby savages that have killed each other on the island. And it's in this scene where they realize that they have lost the most important thing, their humanity. And so what are the themes of the Lord of, of Lord of the Flies? The themes of Lord of the Flies would be this, the main one, civilization versus savagery. Uh, reason embodied in British civilization versus the savagery, the loss of humanity that comes when your reason is overwhelmed with emotions such as fear or anger. Uh, crowd mentality, mob mentality, Jack and his tribe, they come together and they act as a group and not as individuals. So it's powerful being part of that crowd and how fear has the potential to overwhelm, being one of the strongest emotions to overwhelm our reason. The loss of innocence in the, in the hearts of these boys and what it takes for that innocence to go. Uh, leadership exemplified by Ralph and also Jack, the different types of leaders, Jack the tyrant or Ralph the democrat, and morality versus instinct. Are you going to hold on to what you know is right or are you going to do what you feel is right is another big question. And power struggles. How do power struggles get resolved uh, on an island where there are different tribes? Now, the important thing about Lord of the Flies is that it's not just about these boys on the island, but the island actually represents the world. It represents us. And we're all fighting and vying for power on a planet with finite resources. And it's easy to let fear become the controller of our actions. And so I like the image of Slenderman uh, in the forest. Uh, so it's kind of like when you are around the fire of reason, the thing that lights up that dark and mysterious forest, you see, you feel a sense of safety, a sense of calm. And that's what reason does for us. Reason provides the safety net which we can navigate life uh, effectively and with morality. But once we leave that safety net and enter the world of fear, uh, we lose what essentially makes us human and we can make some really bad decisions. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you around on the next one.